Welcome back. At the top of the show, Harry told you we'd be having a South African racing hero on the show. And, well, guess what? Here he is. AJ Fenter. He's been to the Macau Grand Prix, which, uh, believe it or not, is a race that's even madder than the races he does normally. Now, AJ, we know you because you race at the Isle of Man. You're South Africa's best competitor today. You're racing locally here, aren't you, in the National Superbike? In Super the Bikes. National Superbike Championship, yeah. On a Yamaha, which I can tell from your shirt, because I'm, I'm sharp like that. Uh, tell me the Macau Grand Prix. I'll tell you what, first off, where is it? Where's Macau? Right, Matt, Macau... Macau is a gambling mecca. It's a gambling island just 70 k's to the east of Hong Kong. So it's basically, it's a city full is of casinos. Is that what it is, a, a city? I mean, it's not like an island, it's not like an island man. There's no countryside. No, there's no, no country. It's, no, there's, there's no country. It's, it's, it's like Shenton City. You were there on your R1. I mean, this is a bike race that's open for, open, it's open for anything really, isn't it? Full on super bikes. And I know you took your bike from here. That ain't. So, I mean, how do you compete? Well, what we did with, when it comes to road racing, Matt, you, it's a, it takes time to learn. So, at the same time, my thoughts on the job, same as when we go to TT, you don't just go to a street race with something that makes 230 horsepower because you're going to hurt yourself. So tell me the nature of the bikes then, the, the top guys, they're all on uh, what are effectively what? Year, it's basically two year open. old world super it's, it's, bikes. It's, 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 it's an open bikes. class. So back in the 80s, Kevin Schwantz, Kevin Schwantz has ridden Macau. He won Macau, I think in 1993, on a 500 GP bike, a Su uh, RGV wow. 500. Well, obviously because it's open then, you could take a Grand So you, bike. Can, you can go anything you want. Uh, AJ, is it, I mean to me it looks, I hate talking about this with riders because it's kind of the unspoken thing, but it looks more dangerous than the Isle of Man in a way. Especially you're racing, aren't you? Let's remember, this is a mass start. You're trying yes. to overtake yes, properly. Yes. The, the, the thing with Mackay is there's, I think there's 32 of you, 36 of you on the grid. Um, the open rules, open tyres. The, the road, I like to compare Mackay to Monaco. A, a lot yeah. of the guys know the Monaco, the yeah. Formula One, the barriers, the big fences. Um, it's also during the days of public road. So they close off the road on selected days we ride. How long is the track? The track's 8 k's long. So you have one official practice, two qualifyings, a warm-up and a race. That's not a lot. And I, I say that because, uh, well, let's have a look at this lap, AJ. We'll, uh, we'll talk, talk us through it. This is obviously off uh, Peter Hickman, but it's the best quality one we can get. It's the same sort of stuff you're in. It's the start of the race, and already there's a corner. Tell me what's going on. Into the first corner, I met you back to fourth gear. We run the same gearing as TT, so we're running down to what's called Mandarin. Fastest this part of the race track. Out. I mean, what what uh, what sort of speed are you getting up to? Is this the fastest part? This of the is track? the fastest part of the track. Just uh, probably another 200 meters from where we've stopped the video. Now you'll see there's a flat out right hand. Okay, so we get going again. You get to yeah, you'll go back to fifth gear. You're probably doing about 289, 290 <laughs> somewhere as you go through. Yeah, it's about an inch off the barrier. There. Straight That's back into sixth gear. And silly little things as we hit the brakes going into the thing. Yeah, on the right hand side, Jay, is a petrol station. So. <laughs> As, as, as a rider, you look for your brake markers and things like that. Problem with the street racing is you've got to make street landmarks. And you get there so fast, 300 meter board is actually too long for you to stop. So if you brake at the 300, you're not going to make the first turn. So you've got to find a marker before. Before that. We use the petrol station. So one of the hardest things for what me around is the it? track. Can you even remember? Texaco. Is it? Oh, it's a okay. Texaco is it? garage. Yeah. <laughs> but if you, if, if, if you come down the straight, you've actually, the, it, it's weird. You've got to be looking to the side and not where you're going. When you see the garage, you trust it's there and you go on the brakes. I can't believe what's happening there. I mean, someone's trying to overtake between the barriers. The barriers Very are everywhere. Um, is it bumpy like the Isle of Man is, or have they managed to make it smooth? You know what, there are parts that are bumpy as it's, as it's a road. The biggest, not a fear, but the biggest issue we have on, on a road circuit is A, the cars dropping oil. And you B, mean the race cars or the, just the, the normal no, traffic? No, the, the, the normal traffic, and then in Macau the cars race as well, so you do get a bit of oil yeah. from the race cars, is the painted lines on the oh, road. Of course, yeah. So what they do is, is every morning before we go out is they take a, a fire, like a fire torch, and they actually burn, they burn all the lines okay. to try and stop them, and especially into this corner, it's called Lisboa. So this part of Macau is the Lisboa Casino, which you can see just in front of you. Is there's a, It's a 90 degree right hand, and there's a massive white, uh, we might even pass it on the screen, have a look there's a white you line. As you turn in, that everybody tucks the front on. Very, very, very good passing place, but can't push it hard on the, on, so on the front. You come out of there second, third, this is called San Francisco Hill. Climbing here by the looks of it, yeah. You climb quite a bit here. Yeah. You're all the way up the side of the mountain as you go through. The problem you have is, as you can see, you can't see what's coming. 
You need to know. Blind, you need, everything's blind. Look at him pitching into the turns then, and you can't see into through the turns at all. You need to memorize your, where you're going with the track. And a lot of the turns look the same. So we've just gone through a little left and a little right. This is another left, slightly longer left, also into another right. But this right, you can carry third gear. Now, all these little things will come with time as you're doing laps. Now, we, we're basically running along the side of a mountain. So you'll go through your little series here, then we're gonna come up to a left-hander here, and you'll see the drop, and now you're going down the hill. So as you flick it over, you just brush the barrier as close as you can, and you run down the hill. This is all third gear, back to first gear for this little right-hander. Quite a very, very hard braking oh, place. Oh, that's a tight corner. Very difficult to pass here. As you can see, it narrows in on you. It does get quite tight here. Same thing, first gear, out here first, up to second gear, you're gonna run around the left, also a blind corner. You run through the parking there, you can see the oil on the track where some of the cars are. This, some of the cars three are phenomenal in the racing side of things, because it goes very, very narrow. Here you go to first gear, for it the It's very one line, AJ. To actually overtake around here must be, must be pretty There's tough. There's maybe two places to pass. One is this happen now, one is turn one. Here it picks up again quite nicely and it opens up a little bit. You can oh, you can see the bike squirming. Come out your third, fourth, this is called Fisherman's. Very, very, very slippery corner because the traffic's at chat. So when the cars idle, they leak. And this, this in the morning is just terrible. Very, very slippery. Coming out of Fisherman's up to the last turn, you'll run fifth gear, back to third, as close as you can to the barrier into turn one so you can come out to get your drive out across the finish line. That's, I actually, now I've watched that with you, AJ, I'm sorry, but that's even scarier than the Isle of Man. That really is. And I'm, I'm telling you what, at least in some places in the Isle of Man, there's a tiny bit of you might survive. That's just walls and barriers. The, the, and... the problem with Macau is if you, if you get it wrong, you, you, you hit a barrier, you haven't got far to go, you know? And, and I, I suppose that's what makes the risk. That's, that's, yeah, that's the buzz in what you do. You, you learn from a riding perspective, Matt, we, we tend to teach guys, I've got a riding school at Red Star, as you know, and a lot of the time you're teaching guys to hang off and get their body position, whereas if you notice any of these riders sit on the bike for the simple reason, you hang off a bike, you're giving yourself half a metre. If you sit on the bike, you got that half a metre closer to the barrier, it gives you half a metre more road that you can use, you know, to turn in. So that's why you run as close as you can to the barriers, so that you've, you haven't got a lot of space to work with. That's amazing, isn't it? So, uh, I mean, I like to hang off the bike a lot, mainly because I'm a coward and I don't like to lean it over too far. But uh, you're actually saying you have to go back to the old Halewood style, in a way, to, to give yourself more room to get the bike over towards the apex, An interesting which is thing. a wall. An interesting thing they'll tell you is if you put your knee down around my car, you're riding it wrong. Just for the simple reason, it's a lot of you sitting on the bike and you let the bike. Michael Rutter is the John McGuinness of my car. Phenomenal. Won it so many times. Have a look at his riding style. He just sits on that motorbike and he just, some places there'll be pictures where you'll go, as you flick to go over the hill, you actually flick the bike over and you push the bike against the wall and you're moving you're your, still on you the move your shoulder yeah. out the way and you'll come in with marks down the back of your shoulder, you know, just from where you're touching the wall. So, you are mad, I can't, I can't quite like AJ, but I look at him and say, oh, I'm an idiot. Uh, you've got a long-term plan, have you, AJ, because... You know, you're learning your, your ropes at, uh, at the Isle of Man, at Macau. I mean, do you, you, obviously, you're a racer. You harbour secret desires of winning these damn races, don't you? You know, Matt, the, the thing with road racing is it's, you can't... Short circuit racing, you can come onto the scene, you can stick your neck out, make a couple of mistakes, a couple of good crashes, and you pick yourself up. Road racing, you can't. Road racing, a couple of crashes can end your racing career, end your life. Yeah. You've got to build into it slowly. So, AJ... When you're overseas, when you're doing your racing, where can anyone find out about Have you got a blog? Have you got a uh, website What page? we'll do, we, we, uh, social media at the minute, the, one of the biggest things is Facebook. Okay, we, so you're we, on Facebook. We, we have a Facebook page uh, under CF32 is the, our team in Macau, the Hygienica Racing Yamaha team. That will be our national team that we're running in South Africa as well as any venture I do abroad. So you can follow it on Facebook. I've got a personal page under my name, AJ Fenter, uh, the Hygienica Yamaha page. And then uh, I tell you what, I tell you what uh, is even even more interesting. Away, if you're like us and you like your sport bike riding, but you're not that good and you've got a load to learn, you run uh, courses, don't you? Red Star. We we we, we Can do. Can they get hold of you through the Facebook page? On Facebook, send us a message. I'll get cool. the lady to give you a call and. I think we might send Harry out. I riding. think I might send myself, actually, because you can always learn, and what better person to learn from? AJ, thank you very much. Thank you. Well done for uh, Macau. Thank we'll you. We'll be back after the break with, uh, with some lovely goodies.